let's get started working on the scale of convert decimals to fractions and mixed numbers. We want to write 0 0.1 as a fraction or a mixed number. Now when we convert to fractions, knowing the place value is really going to help us figure out what our denominator is going to be. Remember that a fraction is always your numerator over your denominator. Now, I said 0 0.1 when I read this out loud, but really this 1, because it's in the tenths place of the decimal, is really can be read as a tenth or one tenth. Now, because it's in the tenths place, that means that the denominator of my fraction is going to be a 10. And then the number that we're given in our decimal is a 1. So the number that we see is going to be our numerator, and then the biggest place value that we have will be our denominator. Now because we have a 0 out front, we don't have anything over here as our mixed number. Okay, But let's say that, for instance, it was like 2.1 or 2 and a tenth. We would say 2 and 1 tenth. But that's not the one we have right now. We're just going to have one tenth. Now, before we write down as our answer, can this be simplified? Because one and ten cannot be divided by anything else but themselves, we have our most simplified fraction, one tenth. Zero point zero five as a fraction or a mixed number. Well, we have zero in the tenths place, and we have five in the hundredths place. So we're gonna put what we see in our numerator, so I see a five, and then the, the farthest to the right place value that we have is in the hundredths place. So we're gonna put 100 in the denominator. We have a zero out front, so there's nothing over here as a whole number. And we need to see if this can be simplified. Both 5 and 100 can be divided by 5. So we're going to divide 5 by 5 and 100 by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So our fraction of 5 one hundredths is the same as 1 20th. Write 0 0.04 as a fraction or mixed number. Well, we don't have, because this is a zero, we know there are no holes. So that's going to take this answer and this answer off the table. So is it 1 over 25 or 1 over 250? Well, we see a 4 in our um, as our number, so that's going to be our numerator. And the farthest to the right place value we have is in the hundredths place. So that's going to be our denominator, 4 over 100. Well, that's not one of our answer choices that we have left, so let's see if we can simplify. Both 4 and 100 tend to be divided by 4. So let's divide both the top and the bottom by 4. We end up with a 1 in our numerator, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 1 over 25 is the correct answer for writing 0 0.04 as a fraction. 0 0.2 as a fraction or mixed number. So we have a 0 here in front of our decimal, so we know there's going to be no whole number as part of our answer. So these two are not our answer choice, our correct answer choice. So we're going to have a 2 in the numerator, and this 2 is in the tenths place, so we're going to put a 10 as our denominator. These are both even numbers, so they can both be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 0 0.2 as a fraction is 1 fifth. 10.2 as a fraction or mixed number.
All right, well, we have something other than zero before the decimal point, so that's our whole number. Then we have a two after the decimal, so that's going to go in our numerator. And because it is in the tenths place, we are going to have a tenth in the bottom, in our denominator. Now, we don't have to simplify the whole number. That's a whole number. It doesn't have to be simplified. But two tenths can be simplified because they are both even. So we'll divide both of those by two. Two divided by two is one. And 10 divided by two is five. So altogether, our answer is going to be 10 and 1 fifth. Reminder, when you type in mixed numbers, put a space between the 10 and that 1. Write 10.7 as a fraction or mixed number. Well, 10 is our whole number, so we know that it's either going to be this answer or this answer. Not 7, because 7 is not our whole number, and definitely not 8. So is it 10 and 7 hundredths or 10 and 7 tenths? Well, because 7 is in the tenths place, we know that our denominator is going to be a 10. So 10 and 7 tenths is the correct answer. Right? 9.7 as a fraction or mixed number. Well, 9 is before the decimal, so that's going to be our whole number. So these two over on the right can be eliminated from our answer choices. 7 will go in our numerator, and because it is in the tenths place, a 10 goes in our denominator. So it's 9 and 7 tenths. 10.07 as a fraction or mixed number. 10 is our whole number coming before the decimal. So 7 and 1 hundredth and 7 and 1 tenth can go away. Now is it 10 and 7 hundredths or 10 and 7 thousandths? Well, this 7 is in the hundredths place. So it is going to have a 100 in the denominator. So it's going to be 10 and 7 hundredths. Two point six as a fraction or mixed number. Two is our whole number. So it's not six and one fifth or six and one fiftieth. Then we're going to have six over, it's in the tenths place. So it's six over 10. Well, that's not one of our answer choices, so we need to simplify. 6 and 10 are both even, so we're going to divide both the top and bottom by 2. Our numerator becomes a 3, and our denominator becomes a 5. So our final answer is 2 and 3 fifths. One point two as a fraction or mixed number. We have one as our whole number, and then we have a two in the tenths place. So we want it to be one and two tenths. But looks like we're going to need to simplify. But we know it's not either of these because those have a two in the whole number spot. Both two and ten are even. So we're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by two. So we're going to end up with one and one-fifth. 